Well, it's the six months point for my keto diet. Perhaps you haven't noticed, but the girl done got skinny. When I began six months ago, I was beginning to hover around 150 something. Naughty, naughty. Now, 137, 138. Oh my God. <laughs> now, I went from 170 to 150. Uh, with two years of walking half an hour twice a day, every day for two years, right? Exercise isn't only for that reason, but that was part of it. And yet, keto. 20 pounds. Pff. Now I have to fight to keep some weight on me. So I've gone from a size 16 to, I don't know, 12, 10, 11, something like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Who knew? <laughs> it is that easy. And of course, I'm sure my numbers are all over the place. Right. Well, it's what one expects. Everything goes to a positive direction, except the LDL. And that, of course, has your doctor all upset. Well, I had my echo, and I had a stress test. And <laughs> the results are, you're good to go. So, my heart is fine. So where did the calcium store come from? Probably some other artery somewhere, right? Okay, somewhere in my chest, on this side, on the good side, if a one, yeah. I mean, the Widowmaker's on the other side, on the left, on your left, you know, on your own heart. If you get it on that side, it's called the Widowmaker and you can go, no prior symptoms whatsoever. If it's on this side, you might have a chance. So I'm taking K2 like a fiend. K2, MK4, and MK7. The two variants. You're supposed to take two of them a day. I'm taking four of them a day. Got to get rid of this shit, okay? And I'm walking my mile a day, if not more. So we're keeping it up. We're keeping at it. And I am freezing to death. One of the things about keto is, yeah, you got a lot of energy. Yes, you're all nice and bubbling and you're feeling grand. But damn, is it getting cold. I don't have any more insulation. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, anyway, so I have no insulation. I'm becoming skinnier. Then I have to actually eat a sandwich sometime here just to make sure I don't fade away entirely. <laughs> but I betcha that uh, when February rolls around, my annual month of let's go and get everything checked again <sighs> upside down sideways fasting glucose all that other happiness oh a1c lipids yeah i'm gonna tell my doctor do your worst <laughs> anyway so other than getting a new wardrobe <laughs> and freezing half the time uh i'm having a really good time here being keto so, while I don't give medical advice, you may want to think about getting, giving this method a try to make sure you don't run into the diseases that most of humans over the age of 
55 get. Do I remind you? I am 61. So, osteoarthritis, yes, I had that diagnosis, all the others, yeah, but... I don't feel 61. <laughs> and I'm not a big, massive person. So, yes, I am 5'9". I weigh 137 pounds. I don't think I'm becoming diabetic anytime soon. So, thank you for watching. Give it some thought. I'm not going to say try it, because keto isn't for everyone. But give it some thought. Thank you for watching, and please.